Southwest Florida, you are looking live at a spectacle of huge proportion. It's the Delta Sigma Theta Fort Myers alumni chapter, 50 and more anniversary. Everybody who's a who's who came out to this event. And one of the main reasons they came out is because of the keynote speaker. She is a renowned national speaker and a former president of the National Association of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And when everybody saw her name, we did a lot of marketing on our TV yeah, show. Yeah. And Captain talked about her and we showed some clippings of her. They crowded the place. Even the mayor came out. Yeah. So let's not waste too much superlatives on that because everybody wants to touch you. <laughs> I know you were up to the podium. You were giving me a shout out and I yeah, loved it. That yeah, was it though. Yeah. You're smooth. Of course. You couldn't remember the name because you hadn't got in with the program. But you did good enough. That's right. Everybody that's knew right. that was Lee Fitz over here. That's right. That was me and you funded right, right there. That's right. And I said, after she said that, she's going to come over here. That's right. <laughs> I want you to know that, that gentleman right there. Okay. He's a uh, a legacy of, of, of your uh, sorority, okay. his grandma, okay. and he's also my intern. Oh, great, right. great, great. And uh, he comes out, he's like 14 years old, and he gets some camera work in. Okay, I great. know an educator like yourself, oh, yeah. oh, who yeah. taught kindergarten, can appreciate oh, yeah. that sure. coming up. For sure, great. All right, now, let's go right to it. Okay. The, I noticed you had your shoes off when you yeah. were speaking. Do you have your shoes off when you went up or when you're up there, you get rolling, you kick actually, the shoes that's, off? Actually, that's actually the first time my shoes have come off. Really? Yeah, even though the mayor was teasing about my cheap shoes. Yeah, even though the mayor was uh, teasing about my cheap shoes, I caught them on sale. They weren't cheap. Uh -huh. I just caught them on sale. And it has a back strap. And I think by me moving so much, the back strap kept coming off. So I just took them off. Okay, <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you something. Okay. Of course, because of what I do, I've interviewed thousands yes, of people. Yes, yes. And I've seen uh, uh, great speakers from yeah. Jesse Jackson to uh, John Lewis and so okay, on and so forth. Okay, okay. Uh, that was a point where I said, well, the greatest I had ever seen was Tony Brown of Tony Brown's oh, yeah, Journal. Oh, yeah, I know Tony Brown's Okay, Brown, yeah. I was uh, emceeing an event where okay, he spoke, and I said, yeah. this guy he, magnificent. He taught my niece at uh, Hampton. I said all that to say, yes. Cynthia McIntyre uh -huh. has replaced Tony Brown. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All time I love it. Greatest I love speaker, it. <laughs> and I'm saying it on TV. If people want to get in touch with you for okay. uh, any type of speaking engagements, okay. I would assume that that's a part of your world. Right. How can they get in touch with you? Call me directly. I do all of my all myself. Oh, really? Yes, I do it all myself. <laughs> Because um, I'm retired now, so okay. I can do it myself. And um, just call me. Okay. People uh, just call me. Okay, so they can get your number from Kathy or something yes, like that. Yes, they okay. can get it from Kathy. We don't want, we don't want yeah, to Yeah, and get it from Kathy. Uh, the, the tribute okay. that you paid to the charter members. Right. Uh, I had them on the show all okay. of them uh, a few months ago, and Jerry Ware, of course, is my god mom. Okay. Uh, in the terms of black god right, mom, you know, right. you just I grab got a you. god oh, I got, mom. Oh, I understand. I understand. Uh, that was so beautiful. Uh, did you do that extemporaneously? As kids say, kind of, sort of. Uh -huh. Kind of, sort of, when I got up there uh, and looking at them, looking at me. Mm -hmm. And as I looked in, uh, look, just, just kind of looking at their presence and uh, them looking at me. And I'm remembering that they did that in the 60s. I think that's what Jerry said. It was a different time. It was a different place. And just looking at them, right. now looking at me, I served the sorority as national president 2008-2013. Uh, different time, different place. And because of them, look at me. So it kind of came out. It just came out. And that's kind of how God works. You know, he'll tell you, say this. Yeah. Now, when I'm watching you speak okay. and I'm taking notes, I'm saying, well, she's fantastic. I'm seeing one part minister, okay. one part teacher, uh -huh. one part comedian. <laughs> yeah, they, they say that too. They say <laughs> how, that too. How, how did you come with that style? How did you, did that develop over the years? Well, I'll be very, very, very honest <laughs> with you. I mocked my mom. My mom uh, did a lot of speaking in church, and then she was a principal. So she did a lot of educational messages as a principal, you know, to teachers and staff. And of course, that was back in the day with segregation. Uh, she uh, was a part of the integration uh, era. And so she did a lot of speaking. And so we would come from church, and I would get up and, and just mock her. Right. And I think from mocking her, God said, okay, you want to mock? Here you go. And so then people started inviting me. And so it kind of evolved. And then I think God gave me my style. Okay. And so then my style came, and I like to have a good time. 
time, and that's my personality. So then the comedy part came, right. and of course I'm very rooted and grounded in my faith and my belief because God's been too good for me not to, every time I open my mouth, give him the credit for who I am and what I am. And so, and then all of that kind of combines itself, and it all comes out, so. If I'm not mistaken, and I might be, I think when you were the sitting uh, president, yes. you came to our area. I did. Years ago, yeah. I saw it, on, and yeah. I couldn't make it with my television show. Yeah, I was in When I saw your picture yeah, again. Right. Yeah, yeah, I was. How, how, uh, how, how have you enjoyed this particular part of the country, Southwest Florida? Oh, uh, loved it, loved it. I, I've been in Tampa many times. Uh, when I landed last night, I said, aren't we close to Tampa? And they said, yeah, see the sign? And then okay. I saw the sign. Yeah, so, in fact, the national president, uh, the immediate past national president, Dr. Paulette Walker, lives in Tampa. So, and she was the vice president, I was president. So, I've been in this area many times okay so yeah the um this chapter okay the uh fort myers alumni chapter on a national scale yeah so people here with locally would know how we are viewed on a national scale by the way i'm five beta six okay all right. uh on the nephew just played <laughs> okay good for him <laughs> on a national scale uh from on high is this chapter down here well respected? Phenomenal, phenomenal. I think when I open and I, I, you know, I did my, of course, their pat on the back, their standing ovation, their woo woo is well deserved, well earned. I think if you look at the record of what this chapter is doing, well in line with what the founders set out, with all of the national presidents from our beginning up until our current national president, uh, Beverly Smith out of Atlanta, all of the work that has been set forth for our chapters to do, Fort Myers has been on point on purpose and on task in doing it in this area oh, and so I think I think it's a testament to have the mayor here I mean he realizes how important this chapter collectively and individually because I saw him interact with the individual members so he knows who they are yes we have some serious milestone groundbreakers here historic yes proportion yes and the mayor has respected that right uh, the um, uh, when you and I sit here uh, just so you know, we're streaming nat nationwide right, right. around the world, and we're also on radio and all these types of things, and on television and on social media. Okay. We always, us Greeks, okay. we talk about this life as though everybody knows what it is. That's right. That's, why, that's where you come in as an educator. I want you to Sesame Street this for our okay. viewers when they say, well, what is all of that? What is this Delta thing? What is all these sorority okay. fraternities? Because when I first arrived on a college campus, I had no idea what okay. it was. Okay, okay. So, what, in a Sesame Street way, is Delta Sigma Theta Sorority? Delta Sigma Theta Sorority is an organization, college-educated women, on a college campus, those young ladies seeking their college degree, who come together like-minded about the world and how we can change it for the better meant of all. Our particular focus is the African-American community, but the changes we make make an impact for all started in 1913 on the campus of Howard University, like our other sisters of the other sorority, our brothers of the other fraternities, started out with a goal and a purpose in mind to make a difference. You mentioned the early 1900s, paint right. that picture. People need to understand, early 1900s right. was uh, reconstruction period. That's right, that's right. And, and not a lot of us were in college. And the few that were there could have solely said, I'm focusing on my degree, I'm focused on getting my education. But each of our founders, Founders of Sigma, founders of Deltas, saw a need beyond themselves. And then to take it from there, which are different, a little different from what people think of fraternities and sororities. For us in the African American experience, we take it after college and we go forth in communities into cities with the same thrust and the same force of our fraternity and sorority life to make a difference wherever we are. It doesn't stop for us in college. In, in fact, I tell people, we, 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 we gear it up a notch mm -hmm. because on a college campus, you, you, you're sometimes confined to what the college or university tells you to do there. But, but you leave there and you go to a graduate chapter, alumni chapter and you get to broaden that and for all of us we have international chapters so we're doing we're doing wonderful work in places all, all over you mentioned international what is the footprint now for chapters for Delta Sigma Theta sorority 
Well, um, we're in uh, Africa as well. Uh, well, well uh, we're, we're we're looking now for a chapter in Canada. That's a, that's that's our latest uh, thrust. Okay. We're talking to some sisters who are, who are in Canada who are looking to uh, to put a chapter there. In fact, I'm saying talking to. They just chartered the chapter. I, I got to back up. They just Canada, left. Yeah, okay. they just left, and the and the chapter was chartered there. I want to say less than a month ago, and so we 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 we're there. Um, I went last year to the chapter in Tokyo, so we're there with the chapter the chapter in Tokyo. A very strong chapter there. There, there in uh, Tokyo, Okinawa, and Seoul, Korea. Those three chapters work very, very closely together because their work is so similar. So uh, they're there. I went recently to a chapter in Germany. So we're everywhere. I just we're hope everywhere. I can do some of the stuff that you do when yeah. I grow up. <laughs> You're doing more. You're doing more, Brother Lane. What doing do more. you hope that people who attended this particular event will take from it? I think the last, the last thing I said when I did the the head, the heart, and the hands, I hope they would take that thumbprint because I think we don't realize that everything we do, everything we say can leave an Im imprint and an impact on somebody else. And if we think about it as our thumbprint, because think about all the things you touch all day long. We touch, we touch in this mic. And think of all the people you've had on this show before me who touch this same mic. Mm -hmm. Tens, of, th ten tens thousands. of thousands. Right. And so just as you touch this, you can touch other people's lives by your words, and sometimes just with a look and a smile. Well, still, I, I don't really get too excited about guests after a while. Yeah. But I'm glad and I'm excited that you're touching my microphone. <laughs> and I'm glad you allowed me to. <laughs> Cynthia McIntyre touched the Leapage Live microphone. <laughs> I'm a made man now. And Lee allowed me to touch it. Thank you. <laughs> See, it's so cool. <laughs> the, um, um, have you written anything yet? Or do no. you have a book you can I, plug or I something? Get, I get uh, you, you, you wouldn't believe everywhere I go. So I'm, I'm going to do that one day. I gotta, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move that to the top of the bucket list. How could you not I know, have I know, I know. Who were some of your major influences in life? The greatest was my mom. Okay. Um, I was I was adopted, but I was adopted within my family, so I always knew my brothers and sisters. I always knew my biological mother, so I always had a very strong, strong force of, of family. But my uh, my mom, uh, who just told me the sky was really the limit, so I always flew up there. I stayed up there, so it was it was my mom. Excellent. Give us two books that you would encourage people to read that may have impacted you in a way that it can impact them. I'm just going to give you the one I mentioned today, probably the one that has, and I read it all the time. I still read Rick Warren's Purpose Driven Life because okay. I, I, I'm fascinated. Why me, God? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, why me, God? Why, why was I created? Why am I here? And what am I supposed to do? Because I want to make sure I get it done. I, you know, and I don't know how big it is or how small it is. You know, did, did I complete it? Am I, am I still working on it? Is it right here and I haven't noticed it? You know, so I'm, 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 I'm steady working. And even though, you know, uh, people take that book sometime and say, but well, that's not really a, a, a book to read. I say, I have probably read it about three or four times. Remember that? And, and, I and I had, I had, I had the privilege of, of actually meeting him. You know, we were at a book session and I just say, hi, Mr. Rick Warren. I read your book a lot of times and so I'm sure a lot of people have told him that right. but I was so serious I really right. wanted him to say why are you read a lot of time but I guess everybody tells him that but that has really that is really one I would do. and another book I know that you spent some time yeah. in is the Holy Bible oh for sure yes mm -hmm. for sure and every time I read it something pops out and I say now where did that come from there you go. <laughs> the um, uh, people were who were watching you on the stage uh, were so engaged in what you had to say, how you had to say it, and uh, they were, I, I was just watching, uh -huh. they're going to go back and tell this story. Yes. And uh, when we created this television show 28 years ago, okay, uh, it was the first television show in the area hosted by a black person, and okay. it still is, okay. uh, we being myself. Okay. I started to think that this show was created 28 years ago for this moment. Okay. I said that on television earlier, and um, uh, that's because of how I was moved ab right. ab ab about the event. Kathy Brun Dupree, Dupree okay. Bruno. Okay, okay. You know yeah. Kathy has been yeah. working me. Yeah. She has worked everybody. And uh, how, what, 
she chaired this event. She's a member of Delta right, Sigma right, Theta right. What has been your thoughts about our local chairperson? Oh, she's she's awesome. I mean, I, I, I wanted to say this. I didn't say it there. Um, of course, she contacted me a long time ago to make sure I was going to be here. But she would send me these little text mess messages to check on me. And so I would always say, Kathy, you're so nice to check on me. And then I thought about it. I said, she just want to make sure I'm still coming. Right, but, right. But I want, <laughs> that's Kathy. Yeah, but that's her. And I, I really thank her for her genuineness because uh, she really cared about me and when when I had the uh, death of my family and I said I can't come you know Friday she said oh no problem take care of you you know and I, I could tell she meant that from her heart so I love her yeah I love her I love her spirit Kathy yes a spectacular job yes oh superb. and all the sorority sisters superb. who superb. support worked on this yes. spectacular yes. job yes. by yes. Delta Sigma Theta yes. alumni chapter it, it didn't look like anybody wanted to go home okay <laughs> I uh, want you to hold this mic okay, up. Okay, okay, okay. I want you to okay. take about, and I know you know what that means, okay. take about one minute. Okay. I want you to inspire people. Okay. Look straight into that camera and say okay. some words to them. Okay. Well, if I would uh, inspire the whole world, I would just say, find your niche in life. Do the best that you can with what God has given you and know that what he has given you is for you. Don't worry about what everybody else has because what God has for you is the best thing for you. Do it well, do it often, and love doing it because he's going to give you some other stuff and it's even better than what you have now. Love it. You heard it right here on Lee Pitts Live. We had the pleasure of having this dynamic lady to wrap her fingerprints around this microphone. When we come back, we're going to get a chance to talk to one of the charter members, my god mom, Jerry Ware, who for the first time I saw her actually break into tears on the podium yes. and we're going to find out what moved Jerry Ware so much. She is a Delta Sigma Theta through and, and through. through. Die hard, die hard. Let's bump these mics. <laughs> yep. God bless you. For those who say it can't be done, they are usually interrupted by those like Cynthia McIntyre and all the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated yes. here who have done it. Yes. We'll be right back with Jerry Ware. Thank you.